Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome to another grocery haul video. Today I have an Aldi haul for you. If you're new to my channel, I follow the Weight Watchers program, so when I do my hauls, I give the Weight Watcher points, but I also try to give the calories as well. I actually had quite a bit of stuff to get this time. I mentioned in my most recent video, my chat video, that I've been away from my channel for a while. We actually went on vacation and just had a lot going on, so I really needed to restock. I have not done like a full restock in probably about two months. I've just kind of been going week to week. So we're gonna start down here. I got a couple of things of hummus. I actually haven't been buying hummus in a while, so I got the garlic hummus, which the garlic hummus is only one point for two tablespoons, and then the red pepper hummus is two points for two tablespoons but they're both really good 70 calories for two tablespoons of the garlic I think the red pepper is the same and no 60 for the red pepper I also got some of this uh, chicken breakfast sausage this kind is the country style they have another one I think it's like the maple kind so just keep an eye on that because the maple kind is higher in points so this one is one point for a link or 45 calories and if you have two links it, be, it does become three points I got a couple of things of turkey breast this is honey roasted turkey breast so if you get the oven roasted turkey breast on Weight Watchers that's zero but I just prefer honey roasted turkey breast I prefer the flavor of it I actually don't eat sandwich meat a whole lot anyway um, so when I do I just want the kind that I like the best so it is one point for the honey roasted turkey breast and back here for meats I got some ground turkey breast I, this is the first time I've ever seen turkey breast at Aldi. Usually they just have this kind, the 93% lean, which this one is four points for four ounces. The ground turkey breast is the 99% fat free. So this is zero on Weight Watchers. And for calories on this, 120 calories for four ounce serving. This one is 160 for a four ounce serving. And I forgot to give you the calories on these. This one is 60 calories for two slices, which is 56 grams. I also got a couple of things of 96% lean ground beef. This is three points for four ounces and 140 calories. I also got a couple things of ground chicken. I really like using ground chicken for a lot of things. Um, pretty much anything that calls for ground beef, a lot of times I'll use ground chicken. In fact, like if we have tacos, I always made tacos with ground beef, but now we love them with the ground chicken. For this, it's four points for four ounces. And for calories, it is 160 calories. I got some boneless pork tenderloin. I love making these with um, some potatoes and carrots. This is 130 calories for a four ounce serving, or I count it as three points for a four ounce serving. I also got this, which I don't normally get, usually with uh, beef roast or pork roast or any kind of roast that I make, I just make it my own. But I am gonna be gone <laughs> this week, so my, my husband is gonna be fending for himself. So I thought this would be great if he wanted to just plop this in the slow cook. So for points and calories, I have no idea. It, it's a beef roast, which is a little bit higher in points. Um, but this will be easy for him to just throw all the ingredients. It's even got, looks like the um, seasoning pack for like the gravy. It's got onion, carrots, looks like some celery, red potatoes, and a beef roast. So that way he can toss that in the slow cooker in the morning before he leaves for work. And then that way, if he wants it for dinner, for a couple lunches or whatever. All right, and back here, I got some pork chops. Those are the center cut pork chops. So these ones are 190 calories for four ounces and five points. I got some boneless, skinless chicken tenderloins. Those are zero on Weight Watchers. And four calories, 80 calories for three and a half ounces. I got some chicken thigh fillets. These are probably mine and my husband's absolute favorite chicken from Aldi. They're just really good. We love these barbecued or you can make them so many different ways. So for these, it's three points for four ounces and for calories, it's 160 calories for four ounces. So I got a couple packages of those. And then down there, I got a package of just regular chicken breast. And of course, chicken breast on Weight Watchers is zero points. Four calories, it's 110 calories for four ounces. So that's it for the meat. And then I got a couple things of this garlic chicken. 
This is actually pretty good. Usually what we do is just add some more chicken breast to it. But if you need something just quick and easy, this is really good. And it's only two points for one cup. And for calories, 150 calories for a cup. I got some white cheddar cheese. These are five points for an ounce or 110 calories. And then feta cheese, which this one is my husband's favorite. And then this one is my favorite. And this can you can have a whole ounce for only two points and 60 calories. I picked these up. These are four points for a pastry crisp. I just thought these would be good just to have in my bag for when I go to the conference this week. Uh, for, it's four points for two of the crisps that are in there and then 100 calories. I got some low fat cottage cheese, two points for half a cup or 90 calories. Some reduced fat Mexican cheese. This is higher in points. It's four points for a quarter cup. So usually with cheese, I just always try to use feta on anything if I can. But sometimes if we're having like tacos or something, there's just nothing like Mexican cheese or taco cheese on tacos for me. And calories on this, 90 calories for a quarter cup. I got some light butter. You can have one tablespoon for two points. And for calories, it's 50 calories. I got some turkey pepperoni, which if you saw my zero point day, you may have seen that I did use this in that zero point day because you can have four slices for zero points. I'll link that video down below. It's basically just a zero point day that I had to show that you can have more than just chicken and vegetables on a zero point day and it doesn't have to be extremely low and restrictive with calories i think i ended up around 1500 calories on a zero point day so but it's just it's just an example so i'll link that down in the description box below but you can also have 12 of these for one point or 20 for two and then calories on this is 70 calories for 17 slices I got some taco seasoning and some brown gravy mix. I just always pick these up when I'm there. I just like to have these in my pantry in case I need them. And I think usually I count these as like one point for whenever I have them. I just like add a point to my day. I got some uh, fully cooked bacon. My husband likes to have these on his sandwiches. You can have four slices for three points and it's 80 calories for three slices. I picked this up. I think I've tried this before, but I can't remember. It's just a par Parmesan garlic chicken coating mix, but I thought that would be good on the pork chops as well. So for this, it's kind of hard. It comes out, it scans out at like one point for like 0.13 of the package or something. But I usually just, again, same thing as I do with the seasonings. I just add an extra point to, like if I have it on chicken, I'll just count it as a point. And for calories, 30 calories for an eighth of the packet. I got some, a couple of things of chicken broth. Those are zero. Back there I got my husband's peanuts, dry roasted peanuts with sea salt. Five points for a quarter cup or 180 calories. I got some zero sugar French vanilla coffee creamer. For this kind, you can actually have one tablespoon for zero points, but I don't ever use just one tablespoon of my coffee. But you can have three tablespoons for one point. And if you're counting calories, 15 calories for a tablespoon. I also got a thing of berry medley, just some frozen fruit. I like to have that for my smoothies or just if I want to throw it into like a yogurt bowl or something. I got some unsweetened almond milk. For that, you can have one cup for one point. If you have two thirds of a cup at zero, I think honestly you can have anything less than three quarters of a cup is zero. I think once you get to three quarter of a cup, that's when it becomes one. And then I think it's, yeah, 30 calories for a cup. I also got some 1% milk here. For that, you can have uh, one cup for four points and calories is 110 calories. I also got some Bran Flakes cereal. When I first started Weight Watchers, I honestly used to eat cereal every morning and I haven't done that in a while and I thought I'm really craving cereal lately. So you can have a whole cup of this or for four points and 130 calories. And usually what I do is just bulk it up. I'll put some banana in it and then I'll usually use unsweetened almond milk. You can even add like some protein powder if you want, just to kind of up it. For the protein on this, it's only four grams of protein, so I would definitely eat something else in the morning uh, to up my protein on that. I also got some fat-free half and half. For this, you can have five tablespoons for one point, and it is 20 calories for two tablespoons. Back there is just some gallon bag, and then I got some rice cakes. These are one point for a rice cake. 
and 40 calories. I like to have those with like some peanut butter or almond butter, or whatever, and a banana sliced on it. So I may take those with me on my trip as well. Also got some olive oil cooking spray. I got four things of French style green beans. Those are zero points and 20 calories for half a cup. And I also got some black beans, some kidney beans, and some cannellini beans. It's getting close to time to make chili, so I will be making that soon. So just kind of trying to stock up on some of those. Sometimes when with the beans, they do scan depending on what's in them. But I always count my beans as zero just because I usually rinse and drain them first anyway. I got some hot sauce, zero points, zero calories, some taco shells. For these ones, you can have three shell, two shells, sorry, two shells for three points. And for calories, it's 150 calories for three shells. So 50 calories per shell. I also got some black olives. You can have four olives for one point or 30 calories. And green olives back here. You can have six green olives for one point. And for calories, four olives for 25 calories. I got a couple of things of canned mushrooms, zero points, 20 calories for a third cup. Some skipjack tuna, zero points on Weight Watchers, 110 calories for the can. I needed some garlic salt and garlic powder, so grabbed some of those. I got some queso. This kind is two points for two tablespoons. If you're counting calories, 45 calories for two tablespoons. If you have a Publix near you, Publix, the Publix brand queso is only one point for two tablespoons, and I actually prefer the taste of Publix better. This one is a little bit more spicy than the Publix kind. And then, you know, the season that it is. <laughs> Pumpkin season is upon us. So I got a couple of things of pumpkin, zero points and 40 calories for half a cup. I got some teriyaki stir fry sauce. I've used this in videos before. Really good, I love it. It's one point for a tablespoon. If you have two tablespoons, it does become three points. But honestly, a tablespoon goes a long way with this. And then 25 calories for a tablespoon. And then I got a few things of rice. I got some roasted chicken, 90 second rice some long grain and wild, and some brown rice. So these two scanned out at eight points for each one for one cup, so four points for half a cup. Usually when I have rice, I just have half a cup servings. And then this one scanned at three points for a cup and two points for half a cup. For calories on this one for one cup is 220 calories. For this one, one cup is 250. And for this one, one cup is 240. And then I did get a bag of long grain rice that I just like to keep in my pantry. And sometimes I'll just make that ahead of time in the instant pot and use it in recipes during the week. Uh, that is, I believe that's five points for a cup. I forgot to scan that. I just wrote it on there by memory. And 160 calories for a quarter cup dry, for a quarter cup dry. So the five points is for one cup cooked, I believe. I believe. <laughs> And then my fruits and vegetables, actually, let me get my breads out of the way. I got some 40 calorie bread. This is the kind that's one point per slice and it is a true one. Um, you can have two points for two slices. Also got some of the extreme wellness wraps, high fiber. This is one point and 60 calories. And okay, I believe the rest is fruits and vegetables. I, so I got some beefsteak tomatoes. I got some asparagus. I actually really like all these asparagus because it's real thin. I, l I don't like the stalks that are real thick. Their asparagus is really good. I got a couple things of frozen Brussels sprouts, a thing of sweet bell peppers, a couple things of zucchini because I just love zucchini. Uh, I got some garden peas, some broccoli, and English cucumber, some green onions, I got some baby carrots and then just some regular whole carrots. So the baby carrots I like for snacking and the whole carrots I like for cooking. And then some bananas. I also got some gala apples. I'm gonna give those a try. So usually the apples that we get at Aldi, the ones we love are the Cosmic Crisp, but they had these on sale for $1.99 and then the Cosmic Crisp for $3.49. So I said for the price difference, we're gonna give these ones a try. So let me know if you have a, you know, a certain kind that you prefer. 
I think it, it seems to me that I remember hearing that gala apples are actually better for like cooking, like in recipes, um, as opposed to eating, but we're going to find out because we're going to be, we've been having an apple pretty much every day lately. I also got some spinach. I usually use that in my smoothies or I'll throw it in like if I'm cooking some chicken and I make some kind of sauce, maybe like with the teriyaki sauce, I'll throw some spinach in there as well. And then I got a thing of russet potatoes and for potatoes it is, I think you can have a 5.3 ounce for three points and calories are 110 calories. And then I also got some of these baby Dutch yellow potatoes. These ones I just like to like throw in recipes or roast them. The, the russet potatoes I love to make our own fries. So if we want fries, I'll just kind of make some potato wedges and put them in the air fryer. And, um, or we'll just use those for a regular baked potato. So that my friends <laughs> is my huge Aldi haul. It was to, about $275 for this. There were a couple of things that I took out of it. Um, I bought like some Kleenex and my husband needed gum, things like that I had already taken out. So that's why I say about 275 because it's actually a little bit more with that stuff. So I don't think that was too bad. So I will be away this week on my for my conference and then I'm hoping that next weekend I'll be able to do meal prep because I need to get back to meal prepping. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.